Hello and welcome to round one coverage from the 2017 Green Mountain Championship presented by Discraft. We've got FPO action. We've got a brand new commentary team. We're gonna call ourselves Natrina. It's me, Nate Sexton and Katrina Allen. Hi. So we've got Kat, Hannah, Jessica and Nicole on the card. This is the Fox Run course. Uh, the more open of the two courses and this is again round one coverage so we're just going to get started here on hole one par four 600 feet you got to clear that initial ob and then you got a little bit of a tricky upshot what is what kind of play are you going with here um i'm throwing a little overstable kind of getting it to throwing a little flat trying to get it to flip up and then you kind of want to be left in that gap or a forehand or like a putter shot. Yeah, I think you are right about that. There's one white tree out there and I keep, I always kind of key in on that from mm -hmm. the tee and I think if I'm near that, near that white tree, ideally a little bit past it, I know that my upshot's not gonna be that bad. Yeah. We got OB left and right, but it's a pretty generous fairway. Are you going distance driver? Yeah, I am overstable, but I threw it too low. I got it flat like I wanted, but I threw it way too low. Not a disaster though. You're in the right. fairway. You got a chance to make a play from there. You're just gonna have that low ceiling if you're not left. Yeah. Okay, Nicole. Do you? I don't know much about Nicole. Do you know where uh, she's from? Yep, she is from up here somewhere. That's what uh, I thought. Yep. She's and New Englander for sure. They call her Pickle. Okay. And I never knew why. And then in the round, come to find out, she actually makes pickles and has a business <laughs> called Pickle Pickle. And she makes like three to 400 batches a year, she said. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It looks like she might have had a little pickle juice on her fingers there as she's gone out of bounds. Here we have Hannah Leatherman. Looks a little bit too turned over. But in bounds is but good. But safe, okay. Mm -hmm. First hole. Yeah. Sure, you got the jitters. That's only yeah. natural. Mm -hmm. I think I was actually shaky for the first time in a while. This one kind of <laughs> means a lot. <laughs> and we've got Jessica here going with the backhand. She has one of the most like slow to fast forms mm -hmm. out there where she really looks like she's not going to throw it hard and then she goes really quick on the actual pull through. Is that yeah. safe? Do you remember? That is OB. I think she just got... Just barely mm -hmm. OB. So here we are at the drop zone. Nicole a little low there. That's that low ceiling that yeah. we're talking about. That's really tough. And a good low ceiling option is going to be this forehand, I'm mm -hmm. guessing. Yep, I agree. Which just throws perfectly. Yeah, she ripped that. Mm -hmm. I think that wow. was about the best she could have done from there. Fantastic shot. Mm -hmm. Just about 22 feet left, I think. Hannah dealing with that same low ceiling, just gonna play sort of safe. Yeah, I, don't I think. think she was actually just trying to get past that tree. I don't think she really had a play for the green from way over there. No. And I need this to turn over. Mm -hmm, just didn't turn it enough. Yep. But that should be pretty easy up and down. Yeah, got a lucky kick. I was really hoping it wasn't kicking left OB. That can definitely happen here. The OB gets pretty tight around the basket. Oh no, low again. Yeah, this low ceiling is really, it's the low ceiling and you're going up and then you yeah. have to go downhill. Yeah. So it's a touchy shot. Hole one is out for blood. Mm-hmm. That looks pretty good. That was awesome, I thought. Yep. Well thrown, didn't let it get too high and drift towards the out of bounds. No, and she went driver where everyone else is going mid, so I think yeah. that was maybe key. Just nice, easy shot there. Mm-hmm. And this is for four. Oh, really? Yeah. Lays it up. Yeah, I was surprised. I think she's a great putter. She must just not have been feeling confident, which if that's the case, more power to you. Just yep, do you. Jessica, just a little bit low. That was to save four from the drop zone, which yeah. would have been... Really know. nice save. Yep, very impressive. Nice putt from Nicole. Mm-hmm. And that's for the only par on the card. Yep, I was would have loved to get up and down, of course, but I'll take sure, a four. Sure. Get out of there. Most likely, I mean, your drive was the only issue, really. I yeah, mean, you it don't was. Have a, you don't yeah. have a. You didn't put yourself in a great position. No. I would have had to done something pretty special from yeah. way back there. Yeah. 
So we've got three fives and the lone four for cat. Moving on to hole two. Hole two is a dead straight tunnel shot over a little bit of a rise, 270 feet, very narrow fairway and actually some OB down on the right side. So you have to basically just point and shoot, just absolutely line it up perfect and throw a nice flat shot. If you're too low, you're gonna hit the rock. If you turn it over too much, you might go OB. Are you go fairway or mid? I throw putter. Oh, wow. So see, she's tougher than me. <laughs> I don't have that kind of arm. Uh, I don't know. No, I actually do kind of throw a putter, I guess. And that's perfect. That was the best shot I'd thrown. In fact, uh, I practiced with the Jomez crew and they turned around and kind of laughed because I had not got past the gap <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> oh, you got the follow flight treatment. This is special. Oh, this is really neat. That's great. And another view. Yep. I don't think I could have thrown it better. I don't think anyone really could. <laughs> Forehand is a scary play here, I feel like, because of that OB right. Mm -hmm. You really have to have good angle control. And this is in danger. Yep. And a that good gap, OB, but... OB, right? Yep. It did go OB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little more understable, and it was a great shot otherwise. Yeah. Tough with the way the hill moves. It just has a lot of time to fall right. And she also just fillets it through the middle. Yep. Inside nice... circle one. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be a tester putt, especially considering she laid up on the last hole. This is a much scarier putt. Yes. Wow, making this hole look easy. That's what I said. I said four through the gap is pretty impressive. And that's another Ooh. great shot. Yep. I didn't know it hit something. Kind of fun to see the action. It is. You sometimes mm -hmm. see some pretty interesting stuff. Not much you can. I've been over there before. Not much you can do. And predictably there, Hannah lays up. Going to make an easy three. Jessica makes good. Mm -hmm. Nice birdie there. Yeah, I'm stoked to birdie this one. Oh, definitely. Me too. Even though it's 270, it feels... It's very narrow feels better than some of the yeah. other ones we play out there. It's very narrow and the tall basket. I, mm -hmm. I was the only birdie in my group. I threw a shot very similar to yours and was very, very happy. Yeah. Hannah in for a three. And Nicole after the out of bounds, taking a four. Yeah. Like I said, that tree's kind of in your way, low ceiling on a raised basket. You're not trying to do anything there. Yeah. Hole three is a pretty tough one. 305 foot, again, kind of a woods tunnel. The OB on the right is even more in play here than the last hole. One little tree kick away from kind of disaster here if you if you end up kicking to the right. And really, uh, if you're early left, it's tough to get up and down. Yeah, and this plays quite a bit longer than the last hole. I mean, it is longer, but also the uphill. And it's hard to get it up there and get it to sit with that because you go past and... Yeah, and there is OB long. Yep. I just didn't throw it as flat as I'd like to. But that should be not that tough. No, it, it should be fine. 80 feet or something. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking there was some wind coming up the hill because they're all lifting. Could be a little bit. Yep, I, re I remember right. Overall, though... Really can't have better weather on the planet oh than my this. Gosh, I mean, no. the setting and the weather, so perfect. I actually remember last year it being 38 degrees in the morning when we teed off. Wow. So to be in. Yeah, because you got afternoon tea times. Yeah. That's kind of refreshing. Yeah, but for it to be 70 and sunny, it's pretty awesome. Everybody through the gap yet again. Mm -hmm. Well, and we got. Uh, Nicole and Hannah both from up this yep, part, so yep. lots of wood golf. Definitely. Yep. Hannah with a putter. Perfect. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Not going to run at that one. No, you can't try <laughs> to make it from there. <laughs> no. And that's a bit of a tester you've I got left. I clipped a leaf that... I Not quite an iron leaf, but a maybe yeah, like a just enough to bronze. Put some. it to like tap in. Yeah, I got tester range. 
Ooh, was that for Birdie? Yes. That's a nice drive. Mm -hmm. Good save. Yeah, I was pretty stoked with that slope behind me. Sure. Power save. Yeah, hopefully get her confidence going on those putts. Mm -hmm. Going to be hard to have the kind of tournament she wants if she is having to lay up uh, as much as she's shown so far. So right. I'd like to see her make a couple putts and, and get just a, just slightly more aggressive. Yeah, and get going in the round. I think that ended up all parts. Which yep. is a really well-played hole. I think, you know, yeah. that's, you have to do something kind of special to birdie that hole, and everybody, yeah. nobody getting in trouble there is pretty good. All right, hole four, 400 foot par three. I think you're playing from a slightly shorter tee here, mm -hmm. which makes sense because this is pretty big out of bounds carry. This is gonna be a very, very tough two in the FPO division, even from this tee pad, I would think. Yeah, I actually didn't know we were playing and I played from the longer tee mm -hmm. and I got over, but I was thinking walking that hole, the wind was pushing yeah. across the from left to right, and I was thinking, man, that might be tough to get over. Yeah, it almost plays as a par four from the longer, I would think. From yep. here, maybe, with a big shot. This is a pretty big shot. Yeah. You got a putt there. Mm hmm I went with stable because I didn't want anything flipping over. Yeah, that's smart. I thought an easy three would be nice. And this looks like a play for a three here. Or maybe not. Yeah, just that, early release. Is, that's out of bounds, I believe. Yes. So that is a big mistake. She's not going to get to advance all that far up the up the fairway. And Hannah with a low and safe play, a little lower than she wanted, I'm sure, but she mm -hmm. should be able to get a par putt. This was extremely impressive to me. That is a nice shot. Straight up the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't even think about doing that. <laughs> well, you've got the luxury of a little more power where you can go uh, up and over. Would, with with your arm, I think it would be foolish to go up the middle. Yeah. Ooh, is that? that that's is inbounds, inbounds, right? Inbounds, yeah. yes. That is a nice rock there. Yep. Okay, this is an important shot here for Hannah. Looks like she committed to it pretty well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yep, edge of the rocks is pretty much tapped and in. You can see the wind is picking up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yep. Wow. Better than perfect. That is so good. Yeah. Getting up on top of there is such a little sitting. bonus. Yep. Agreed. You don't have, it's like all the stress is gone if mm -hmm. you land up there. Nice. You get to do it as well. Yep. Side wind here. Just a little bit low. Yep. With that Annie, it's probably going to drop mostly. Yeah. 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 Nice putt. There. Yep. A couple wind. good ones back to back there for her. Yeah, with the wind coming up, that's got to feel good. Mm -hmm. Easy par for a cat. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be tough to get a look with that wind coming left to right. So yeah, and I'll it's take not, a three. You're not looking, I mean, it seems to me like a hole where it's somebody named Paige and somebody named Cat maybe could get a two. Yeah. But really, the rest of the field is not yeah. likely. So I'm just putting myself in position. To get in trouble if I try. Lifetime warranty and 1% back to the planet. Tempercraft USA. Temper your thirst. All right, hole five, 445 foot par three downhill. I gotta think this is just about getting safe and getting a good upshot up to the basket. It's super treacherous landing area. Where do you try to put it? Down in the bottom of the trough there or? Yeah, I do. I take my most overstable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did not know this was going on. <laughs> this is from yeah from earlier. We have some 
mm-hmm. shenanigans while the drone filming was going on. Um, so yeah, what well, you're going overstable. Yep, yeah, I'm throwing X1 here. Unfortunately, I didn't throw it as high as I'd like because in past years I throw it high, skip down yeah. to the bridge and lay up. But you're safe there, aren't you? I am safe. Yeah. Yes, but I wasn't didn't execute the shot. The yeah, way and I you planned. have a little bit longer upshot with water right behind the basket. Mm-hmm. This better hurry up and hyzer. Yeah, unfortunately just flipped right over. Okay, so that's out of bounds, and that's gonna be a difficult up and down. Really tough. In fact, my miss is left in the pond because it's an easier, safer part. Yeah, that makes sense. This is also in danger. Oh, boy. I think that is... Well, wait, maybe... Nice little skip out of the OB. Safe. Yes. Beautiful. And a yep. lot of distance, too. Yep. Way riskier than she wanted, I'm sure, but yep. this seems like a pretty smart play. Yeah, I was surprised Pickle actually didn't do the same with her sidearm with the wind. But... Yeah. Oh, did it stay in? It yes, did. good. Mm-hmm. One of our trusty spotters there. So this is tough for to be aggressive here with the water. Looks like she's done it though. She's got it up in the air. Yep. Ends up. In nice the shot. Really yeah. nice shot. Really impressive shot. All about speed control here. Mm-hmm. That's nice use of the hill. Yep, that'll be a look. I told myself long, and I was actually aiming for that, and then I got a little roll. Mm, that'll be so a, a little longer than I wanted. That'll be a tough putt. I was trying to tell myself long for the tailwind putt because it was coming right in our faces. Sure, sure. Good to see her take a bit at that, especially mm-hmm. with the tough green. Yeah, lots of danger. Ooh, that yeah. was a nice look as well. Yeah, I was more a little more right to left than I wanted and didn't quite get it out there. Just a little bit low. Mm -hmm. Tough to putt right at the water. Uphill with the wind and water. Oh, man. So it looks like bogeys are worst all around. Looks like four frustrated ladies right now. Mm Mm-hmm. After Especially three people in bounds off the tee. Yeah, nobody made a yeah. made a great putt there, so everybody's looking to improve on that going forward. Right. One five, all the rest fours, everybody tied at plus three, and cat at even. All right, hole six, 290 feet uphill, tons of out of bounds. I'm not sure what we're going to see uh, from the women here. I think most can probably go for the pin. Mm hmm. Yep. Hopefully we can see everybody go up there and go after it. Yeah. Uh, but I could also understand a layup play if the wind wasn't uh, in your favor. Right. And it actually was coming right to left, which is not, not great not for a little the tail, a little right to left, and not ideal for what I was trying to do as well. In fact, I hit it how I wanted, and that just yeah. only late flips, and yeah. it just pushed. So Well, inbounds. Inbounds, but I'd like to be yeah, a little higher in the and a circle little more every time. Yeah. Yeah. Good forehand opportunity here if you have mm-hmm. the power, but it is a little uphill. Yeah, and that yeah. right to left wind's not helping if you don't have the power. Yeah, and it gets tough when you have to really go all out with a lot of out of bounds around. Things yep. like that will happen, and you could end up OB. This looks like it has potential, yep. but just a little short. Yep, that wind was really dropping. She got that one up. That was... Okay, that's pretty good. Yep. A little bit of fade on the end that she mm-hmm. could have done without, but... Yeah. Like I said, I think it was coming up over that hill. Yeah. Laying up for what hopefully will be a pretty easy bogey. Yep. This would be a pretty special putt to make. Okay, I'm right on mm-hmm. cue. There she is. <laughs> I did not know that was going to happen. <laughs> Nicely done from Jessica. Yep, great Sweet putt. birdie. 
make up for that bogey on the last hole. Definitely. Mm. Ooh. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> also not great. Yeah. Got to get those up and to the right. Pickle for bogey. And Hannah has this left for par. And gnats are really bad. Yeah, they are kind of annoying, especially when they're right in front of your eyeball when you're trying to focus. Yeah. Or around your ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so annoying. And I don't remember them the last few years. I don't find that they're biting me or anything, but I just no. find that they're like around yeah. more maybe maybe just because it's a little warmer i guess yeah because last couple years it's been quite chilly yeah one two one four for the group there That's, and the next hole is yeah. not too easy is it mm -mm. this is a real monster of a hole hole seven par five from the ladies tee measuring in at 1115 feet <laughs> it's just going straight all day with OB on both sides and OB deep and a ditch that you have to clear. So really nothing easy about it. No, I like the ladies tee 1115. Yeah, just 1115. Yeah, just the ladies tee. <laughs> and I think sidearm's a really good play here. Yeah, if you've got it, you go mm -hmm. over the out of bounds ditch. Yep, you have a lot more room to work with. That is perfect, right in the landing zone where she wants to be. You going overstable? Yeah. Can kind of do more of a big hyzer. Ooh, was this a little inside though? Yeah, it was quite terrible actually. Yeah, that is not in bounds. Mm -mm. But you, do you get a mark on the far side of the bridge or are you short side? Um, I got a mark on the other side. Okay, well that makes a big difference. This looks like a pretty good shot, but it's such a flippy disc. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't see, get to see that. Awesome kick, and she's safe. Oh, that's a good break. That is a great break. I'll take that break. Oh, I'm going with the turnover. Yeah, up the middle again, like we saw on hole four. Is Such it a getting, great shot. He's down and safe. Yeah, it was amazing. I Longest thought. drive in the group. Mm -hmm. I think it's gutsy to go up the middle there. Definitely. You really have to match your angles and get it turned over, because mm -hmm. if you don't, it's straight out of bounds. Yeah. This needs to drop. Oh, Just no. a little too nosy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, the good break, at least she stayed in, so she's yeah. only got the one out of bounds. You're going for this big for the, landing zone. Yeah, whatever you want to call that here. And just... Oh, no. Yep. Just, just a little bit short. Just like a foot or two right, and I'm in bounds, but... And Jessica with a nice opportunity to play. Well, I thought she was going to go conservative, but no, she's going super... High and she's also going to be out of bounds. This hole, as I thought, yeah. playing very, very tough. See if Nicole can show us how it's done. Looks like she can. Yeah, great shot. So she is in position to really take some strokes now because she is way down the fairway. Not only is she safe, but she's the farthest one down. Farthest one down and safe both off the tee and her safe. Yeah, That's so impressive. she's in position to take multiple strokes from all the rest of you. Good recovery there from Hannah in bounds. Yep. Probably, oh, looks like it might be in range for her. Yeah, it's still about 400, I'd say, from there. Yeah, quite a long ways. Looks like she's 60 feet short, but yeah. in bounds, so that's good. Yeah, because I know I'm thinking. You're, you're quite, quite a long ways. Yeah, because this even flips a little bit on me. That's it's, almost it, a good thing there. That was a really nice shot. Yeah. Wow, what is that, 40 feet? Um, in between circle one, circle two, 45. -ish. Okay, okay. And in fact, it's very deceiving because we were yelling, get in. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very deceiving. Uh-oh, Nicole, don't do this to me. I know. I was thinking maybe another sidearm would have been that good. That would have been nice because mm -hmm. she's already kind of done the hard work. Yeah. Oh, no, Hannah, that disc is really flipping over on her, but it will not go out of bounds. That disc is refusing to go out of bounds. It's got something on it, huh? This one could go in. It's a good little run. Definitely. Yeah. Nice shot there. Of 
calling up and now we'll have what a tap in six i think so yep yep still gonna be a pretty good score just shooting five And this is U four A six. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah, felt good. I just didn't get it. High. Great putt there from Hannah. I yep. I think I even said something. I know. Like we've been talking about, that's sure. a good putt. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. hard when you, you know it's yeah. happened to all of us where you see a competitor. You know, putting gets in your head so easy. Mm -hmm. And everybody's had anyone who's played any kind of disc golf knows that they've knows what it feels like to have that day yep. where it feels like you can't do anything right. Yeah. So it's always nice to see that somebody kind of coming out the other side of that tunnel and mm -hmm. you can kind of give them some encouragement and say, all right, yep. there you go. Like, that's what you're capable of. Yeah. Keep doing that. Because I've always thought of her as an amazing putter. Yeah. So we got ourselves two sevens and two sixes there. Tough hole. The out of bounds just really punishing if you can't keep it going straight. Yeah. From one tough hole to another, this one, hole eight, par four, 550 feet, uphill kind of subtly the whole way, like nearly, I feel like it's nearly unreachable from the tee. Do we play different tees here? Uh, yeah, we play a shorter yeah, tee. But, mm -hmm. either, but even for you guys from where you are, I mean, going for a three here is amazing because this green is so small mm -hmm. and it's uphill and it is so far. Yeah. Oh, this needs to get down. Yeah. I think I mean, that wind was behind us pushing up the hill, if I remember. She must feel like she has a chance at the three, because otherwise I can't see why she wouldn't go forehand. Forehand, forehand. right, just like this. Because, this so she must one. be playing, trying to play aggressive, which I can I can respect that, yeah. feeling like she has a chance to get up there with the backhand distance and, and then, then maybe throw make the birdie. sidearm with, yeah. I but see. the green is so small. It's a yeah. very, this is a whole, from the, the tee that I play, I do not even think about trying for birdie here. Yeah. Probably the only hole in the course that I don't even entertain the idea. Yeah. And uh, inbounds. Yep, well, I think spotter we're gonna see a spotter out. get yeah. up. <laughs> oh yeah, she was well inbounds. Yep. And this is pretty good. Yep, inbounds Looks like again. like safe, 80 feet short maybe. Mm-hmm. This is. Would think she could go for the pin, or pretty close. Yep. Looks like 45. Yeah, yeah have a look. Safe par. Interesting. Now she's going backhand. Mm -hmm. I thought that was weird too, but inbounds. Nice. Yeah. I mean, yep. playing for the, I guess if you're playing for a layup, it makes more. It makes yeah. Sense. If you're not going for the pin. Absolutely. Yeah. That makes perfect sense because there's more room over there. Are you going for it? Uh, nope. I just yeah, threw I think that's a mid range smart. that's straight, smart. that old hyzer. And the risk reward just doesn't add up for me on this one. I sat there and pondered it, but knew after taking that seven that. Maybe just take the par and get out of here. Yeah. Great shot there. Yep. And a nice layup from Hannah. Jump putt range for you. We're not even needing the jump. No, but not getting it up. Not so bad, though, on that green. If you hit the rim and roll, you're probably out of bounds. Yep. And with the chances of people birding it, I'll take a par and get out on it. Yep. Got the go from Pickle to tap out. She said, anytime ever, I think is what <laughs> she said. We've actually played together the first round of the last three Disc Golf Pro Tours. Okay. So we kind of are first round buddies. Yeah, she's not a, a touring pro by any means, but she does not miss a big event in New England. I yes, feel like I always absolutely. see her, and she's, mm -hmm. a, and she's a competitor for sure. Yes, she... And I think that's why we vibe. We both want to do well. Yeah. It's nice to have someone you can vibe with where you're not playing against each other, but you both just are yeah, sure. there to kill it. Sure. Yeah. Jessica takes the lone bogey after that out of bounds drive. Everybody else makes smart pars. Yeah. Not going to do much else after the out of bounds on the. No, definitely not. 
whole nine, 315 feet, straight downhill, OB everywhere. Really cool giant rock next to the basket though. Yeah. So this one can be tough. I mean, I think there's room to play a forehand, but it's tr there's a little more room for the disc to fly, but then you're coming in right next to that bounce. Yeah, and the backhand, you're going into the hill and it's pretty hard to get up that hill and, mm -hmm. and stay if you throw it low. Nicole taking the tee. Because you'll see this is early and looking like it's going to go B, and it's just really tough to yeah, get yeah, up Yeah, unless that. you really throw it high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. It kind of is going to grab. Yeah. What are you throwing? I'm throwing an F3. Just uh, pretty straight, little overstable. A little bit low. Yeah, I wanted to turn it just a little bit more. but Oh, but a nice forward skip. Yeah, I throw that instead of the mid to make sure I don't go out of bounds. Yeah. If I flip my mid, it goes down the... Looks like a Hannah signature turn here. Mm -hmm. And this looks pretty good. Yeah, this was a great shot. She committed a little more to the right side. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. nice. Is she going to show me the forehand I've been asking for? Mm -hmm. Cool. If you get this out wide, it can be good. Yep, turned nice. Oh, this is really good. Wow. Just crushed coming it. in a little too hard. Yep. What That'll a shot. be a look, though. Yeah. Got a nice forward skip, so she was good. Nicole probably laying up. Yep. Kinda. Yeah. yeah. Maybe gave it a little Maybe bit. Maybe was try. giving it a little. Hannah definitely laying up yeah. a little bit farther, and I I don't fault her for that one. It is a downhill look and a, yep. quite a distance. Not laying up, nearly connecting. Inches. Sneaking this and one. And got the uh, okay from Nicole. Well, this was... Stealthy. Yeah, it was a sneaky one. I don't think Jess was looking. <laughs> <laughs> He's a par. Yeah. All pars will do, I think. Yeah. That is not bad with this much out of bounds. It's definitely one you, you know I, I kind of want to get, but... You yeah. can really get into trouble if you're trying to park it. So, Especially after those last couple holes. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one sort of looks attackable compared yeah. to those. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got all threes. Katrina at plus two. Jessica plus four. Hannah and Nicole tied at plus five. Thank you for joining us for the front nine coverage. Hope you like Natrina in the booth. And we will join you again for the back nine and the finish of this first round. Bye.